what you need is the battery, of course, the 4A battery. Now, what's in, uh, another uh, important thing that you need to get is a battery holder. Now, I got I got this from a uh, one of the my RC uh, car that doesn't work anymore. The cool thing about this battery holder is I actually have an on and off switch, so I can turn it off and on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But all you need is something that a uh, battery holder that looks something like this, so that you can put the battery in easily, like that. Okay, all right. So it acts as a battery holder. Now the next thing you need, of course, very important, is the battery clip power adapter. Okay, so it looks something like this. It looks like the um, in in the car where you can uh, hooked up the, your devices. You know, power uh, by um, plugging the uh, charger, the battery charger. Okay, it has a clip, two terminal positive negative, so it looks something like that. I got it for around five bucks, five, six bucks, so if I can get cheaper. And then you need the Yurso uh, battery charger. Now, why do you need that? Because this will then be plugged into the um, clip power adapter, like this, right? And the important thing about the universal car charger is that it has a USB because you want to charge your smartphone. So what you want to do is you take this USB connector and you connect to the universal charger. And at the end, of course, depending on your smartphone, this is the mini uh, port for the USB. Then I would plug into my uh, smartphone like this. Okay. So, so far there's nothing right now because I haven't hooked up the battery yet. So let's do that. Okay, so the two terminals, what we want to do is, you want to find the red represent the positive terminal. What you want to do is um, clip the positive side. Okay, make sure that the metal touch, the two metal touch. Okay, okay so you can see I um, was able to clip the um, a terminal together. So positive on depend on your battery how it's uh, set up so positive and then negative so it's going to be positive and then negative at the end and you notice how it how you know for sure that it works well you see this light indicating that is um it's charging okay and how do you know on your phone is charging well you look at the um battery indicator so it's charging right now. Let me see if I can show you a clearer picture. Oops, system uh, battery. And notice it is charging. Okay, so let's see if I can show you battery mode. Okay, yeah, so it's charging right now, as you can see. Okay, it's showing that it's charging. All right, and that's it. Again, let's review what uh, we did. So you need the batteries, all right? And you need the battery holder, um, six volt, four AA batteries. You need a um, battery clip power adapter. That looks like this, okay? With two terminals where you can hook up the universal car charger, okay, like this. The universal car charger should have a USB, right, and connector. So the USB connector then can be connected to your uh, smartphone. And so your smartphone then can be charged. All right, and that's it. That's all to it. Now you can have a battery uh, charge on the go. And the whole thing costs, well, excluding the battery holder, hopefully you can find that in your um, pile of junks, right? The whole thing costs no more than uh, ten, uh, five to twenty bucks, depending on what device you have already. Okay, for example, all these uh, universal car charger, the uh, power clip, which I told you is around um, five six bucks. So you can see right now it's charging. Right. Next time I'm going to show you how to uh, use a solar panel, one to two watt solar panel like this one here to charge your um, smartphone, okay?